Hi everyone, I'm Marrier, and today we are actually going to be looking at something I did not think would ever, ever make it to YouTube. This is Second Gear Squad or 2GS Bootleggeds Interspecies Reviewers Abridged. Now, if you've never heard of Interspecies Reviewers, you probably think, oh, this is a D&D &D thing. Well, it has different species, like D&D. &D. But, um... The entire purpose of Interspecies Reviewers, a manga and then anime, is that it's a bunch of, basically, horn dogs going in, ranking different species at brothels and then putting out surprisingly interesting reviews talking about personal choice and perception of reality and just how to interact with people and like how different people have different desires and different aspects of themselves that they are interested in and how different perceptions of different species factor into different factors I realize that's a redundant sentence but it's actually very interesting at the end and then the, the concept is yeah they're basically paid to do more reviews. Um, yeah. You can understand why I never expected this to be on YouTube. And it hasn't been taken down all night. Because I decided to wait a day, see if it got taken down immediately. No. No, it hasn't. Apparently, YouTube, as of the moment with the current plague outside and the bots running all of the censorship, and they're usually way more conservative than the actual people running it, they're fine with this. What the hell I'm about to get into? I have no idea, and I am a little afraid Pretty Guardian might find out I'm doing this video. Yeah. That, that is actually a concern right now. So I'm just going to put a link to the video down below for however long it manages to stay online. Check it out while you can because I'm assuming it'll be on their Patreon only soon because that's... Wow. I'm very curious to see what they did. I'm curious to see how they had to edit this thing, what they did to make this YouTube friendly. I mean, that right there is almost as interesting as just what they're about to do because... 2GS usually hypes up their characters, and um, this is probably one of the few things where they really don't need to. Oh, God. So, yeah. Link below. Watch at your own risk. And let's get started before I have 28th thoughts. I like how they actually have a standardized opening. Like this. It looks cool. Right now. Di Bariku. Edgy. Horrible. NTR and Hentai. I know Hentai. Stonk's grandfather, NTR? pervert Lord Rats, what? told him about how he bounced many of Cheeks and saved the Thought Kingdom. I feel like I'm making a. Whoa! I'm going to be king of the thoughts. Did he just say he's gonna. Yeah, no, that's kind of what I expected. I feel like I should know who Rans is. Okay, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting on a sword fight to start this. Oh, it's... Okay, I thought for a second he was the one stripped. It's like, oh, not how I was expecting that. And no one's gonna stand in my way. Is this part of your species review? Did not realize that. He then transformed the NTR colonies into the National Thought Republic. What? A society where the thoughts, thought scumbags, <laughs> and virgins of plenty can live and thrive inside each other in peace and harmony. Inside each other? Oh! They named the capital of this great land Las Vegas. Pervert yeah, that's rats, accurate. And oh, God, this many thing. species in his Girls life. Time but to sadly, this line. his time came to an end. Did they just Thanos him? Stuck's job to review and pipe every last one of them. <laughs> this is only a one shot too, somehow. Interspecies reviewers abridged. Honestly, not a big fan of that font. Human it's kind of hard to read. Elves, 
Human grandmas! Elves! Human grandmas! That's why you got stank dick. What? If you didn't stink your dick at shit, then it wouldn't smell like shit. You take that back! Never. I'm not gonna take oh, any I love from the a face guy just gave him. Stunk. It's like a, oh god. Pun like. intended. Fine. Let's settle this like men. May the best first win. The what? Did they have you a rap battle? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot they did the age thing first. Actual age to appear in age. Yeah. Of course. Oh. It's like half of it is interesting. The other half is, um... I'm talking old school sass school wrinkled it body She falling on the dick and now I'm about to get naughty And when you clean the pipes you can bust into twice She too old to get pregnant man it ain't no vice oh, Your boy's just Oh yeah because he's a really old elf so I actually remember this part Because aspects of his age are different Between a period age and actual age It does change how things Oh god the false But then on a human side it's more appearance Because that's how we ask it elf it's more actual age Age rather than the appearance. I know you ain't kissing my elves. Oh, yeah. I just want to say this, Otaku. This, this is still better than when you had me do that video for your Patreon. Like a new school elf who can get it all. Hundred years old, maybe two thousand eight. I need elf freak who can get your boy to peak. Don't keep a grandma, just remember, pay me. Bucket human, I need magic. That? My Zelda tutored up all in the palace. She smelling really? while she gets Imagine bad. Imagine Zelda reference. She deserves all this human dick. But... Stop crying. That's why these young hosts fight. It's your boy stunk all up on a mic. Shit, man. I, I, I gotta go on. Uh, so the only way they can make this video work is if they heavily censored and made it a rap battle. <laughs> I know you ain't dissing my elves. She ain't no, bruh. I wonder if the difference here is not that they're actually reviewing, but they're actually having rap battles about preference. Oh my god, I just... And don't you ever diss me and my grandmas again! That's just... Suck my dick, you just got lucky. Oh god, they actually are doing what I just said. Rap battle reviews. Rematch! I challenge you to the Succubus Club. What? Y'all know the vibes? I'm hard for some demonic pussy. <laughs> God. You don't smash your ass in grass. We got it for cheap. So they just got challenged to it. Peace. Finish us off, or you getting your head chopped off? What? I don't know about all that. That last part. So what you telling is me that, is, oh god. This is basically an all-you-can-eat buffet. Look at that random redhead who I definitely don't know. Literally. Yo, y'all motherfuckers is wild. <laughs> My kuma got bars though. Whatever. I'm on my Hugh Hefner shit today. Where y'all is paying? So thoughts? I'm a slaying. I mean, I know that's the guy who ran Playboy, but oh, oh. Hey, ladies, we got another batch of food for you. Motherfuckers not, looking nice food, and really? plump. Why are they behind? Ah, oh, yeah, they probably eat some. Not sure if I mean that sexually or literally. Oh, yeah. You said they got dick dicks, and I'm gonna try to licky lick. You came to have some sex for less, but your dick is about to get no rest. Bitch, you better stop playing the guy because that ass is about to get blessed. Oh, no, nah, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is good. No, 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 no. They. That's the. Everyone else had such normal voices, I was lulled into a false sense of security. And then they did the old-fashioned, the cute character gets the really deep, man, the voice. That I'm not jealous of at all. Um, no. Just, I did not see that coming for the... Angel? I think it's an angel. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, deep. Or fairy. Haven't even slid in yet. I'm not sure. We're already in too deep, guys. It's time, my Really? Boys. Did he just... Fulfill our destinies. Really? You're putting it in our no mix? Activate... Ultra sex state. Dead ass? What? I'm about to plow them cheeks. So one with Naruto, oh. one went freaking Saiyan. And he's... I don't get the reference. Oh, he's actually doing magic don't in the show, okay. They gonna take your ass to pile time. You know what the rest of it? Oh, he just, really a Kyle Ren lightsaber? 
You just say curse at it. If I don't make it out, I'm entrusting you with my halo. Smash them well, young one. These motherfuckers will die. <laughs> What? You guys got to hear. Can't hear what he said. Another goblin slayer of rage, alright? Just get out of here. I, I cannot hear what he's saying. It's just a little bit. Fuck ass thank you, man. A million views will make part two. Well Oh god. I kinda wanna call him on that. Okay, one. Rap battles of preference. I kind of thought that's where it would go because I've seen how 2GS and especially Otaku love to put in any form of rap battle into anything they can. And they're usually actually really good beats. But, <laughs> oh my god, you actually changed up the formula significantly actually from the show of being written reviews to rap battle reviews. Of <laughs> oh I'm not sure what I expected, but it kind of went where I expected. A little disappointed I couldn't hear what Goblin Slayer said at the end, because I know 2GS is doing their version of a Goblin Slayer bridge, and it's probably a one-shot at this point, just like everything they do. So many one-shots, except for a few, but most of them are just one-shots. They're like, hey, we're going to do this, it'll be awesome, and then we're never going to do another one. That said, at the end, he did say, a million views, part two comes out. Share the heck out of this. Because that's apparently how YouTube does it. Like, if you share it once, they'll probably throw another 100 people at it. And not just 100 people to see it, 100 people to watch it. And then there'll probably be another people to see it. So if you want to get a part two, share this. Like, hit the share button like three times to some random sites. Badger your friends. Threaten your friends. Tell them that if they don't come and see it, their cat will catch the hentai virus. I don't even know what that is. It sounds really bad when I say it that way. Probably worse if you actually know what hentai is. Make sure you only say this to people who have no idea what it is for your own sanity. But make sure you do that to get people to go to the video and watch it. Because, hey, if it hits a million, one, I just find it funny to watch Otaku eat his own words. Two, this is payback for that video you had me do for your Patreon, dude. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, and your bridges are actually superior to what you made me watch. Not even slightly joking about that. It's all the same though. I just, I like this. I like the music aspect because it's a cool beat. I like that they're following it. I don't like the grandma part because really not my fetish. No, just no. No. And it's like, oh, hey, there's some interesting visual. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. It's a very bait and switch. Let's go with that. Yeah. Now, you do get the point, though, that because they were reusing certain aspects, if they were trying to make a longer bit out of it without using um, more of music as a aspect, let's go with that. Yeah, that sounds good. It wouldn't really work because they seem to have almost a limited source of footage they can use in this aspect that would be usable. But because they were doing a beat that had repeated phrases and stanzas, again, I'm not very musically oriented, so I'm probably using even the wrong words there. They could go back and reuse similar footage in a way that not only makes sense, but is expected and probably the correct way to emphasize the point that they're going to a refrain. And I'm pretty sure that's actually a music term. There's a lot of things I know. Music is not one of them. So I liked how they did that. They made use of the footage they had in a way that made sense and fit the, I guess, narrative they were pulling together. And yeah, it's just fun to watch. I like how this worked out. And again, I just want to kind of badger him into getting the part two up because he gets a million views. So again, link below. Just open like a dozen tabs and watch them all. And then you say, hey, Otaku, we're making you do this. We're holding you to it, man. It will happen. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I might be geeking out a bit because I'm, again, impressed that he managed to get this up. And he did seem to edit it really well to make sure it still is safe for YouTube. That probably took forever. But yeah, all the same, everyone. Thanks for watching. And I'm just going to make sure Pretty Guardian never sees that because some of the lines those succubus have said. Um, this is why you don't go down to the succubus club. And yes, I am making a reference to Konosuba Abridged with that. Maybe a certain Australian guy. It counts because I'm pretty sure they've worked together. Uh, the people from 
Kona Subaru abridged and two GS. I'm pretty sure they've been like worked together for quite a bit, actually. Unless I'm wrong, in which case, huh, me wrong. That's never happened before. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm just going to go hide this from Pretty Guardian. Yeah, I'm probably going to fail horribly. If you never see me again, you know what happened. <laughs> Adios. Thank you.